Welcome back to a new video here in Suave. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the anim curves. Anim curves, first of all, is a new function in DaVinci Resolve that allows you to create animations more easily in a way that it sort of like has a bunch, a few pre-made settings that you can adjust so that the animation process is simpler. First of all, where do we find this? If you go to a tool, let's say a transform node, you will see that if you right click on the size, for example, and then click on modify with, you will see it says anim curves. That is the actual node or like the actual setting that you can use to be able to modify things and create cool animations with that. But there is one thing that happens if you try to use these with the positioning options. Well, the thing is that it doesn't actually show up. So there's one way you could do this, but it's sort of like limited. And the reason for this is that the positioning settings that you could adjust are two in one basically. So, th so there's the vertical and there's the horizontal. So I think that is the reason why it doesn't allow you to directly add it or input it there. So let's jump into the computer so I can show you real quick this workaround that I found out when I was working on a really cool thing that maybe I'll share it. Maybe I'll share it in another video because it's still just an idea, a floating idea of another sort of like side little business that I'm that I thought of. Maybe I'll tell you more about it in another video, but let's just jump into the tutorial right now. Okay, so here we are inside Fusion and let me just create a quickly a uh, background node and we're going to create a text node to go with it because that's what I was trying to do when I was sort of like figuring out these anim curves workaround. Okay, so let's write a random text. And first of all, if you're if you want to do a text and want to use it for for a text node uh, what you will have to do is go to the layout section if you have a different type of node like a merge node for example they will automatically show the different settings here and as you can see you 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 see the different objects like for the angle and like but for the positioning it does not okay so what I did to be able to use the anim curves with the positioning settings was the first thing that I did was I right click and then I click animate and then this will open the modifier tool here and it will sort of like create a path for our for our positioning values and here you can also move around these things but you will realize that what I what I did was you can also get rid of this displacement and then I use this size option to connect these to an anim curves because this one does allow us to do so so if we do that, then we'll see, let me just press this pin here so we can have both of them open at the same time. And you will see that right now it's not really doing anything. And that's because the way that it works is it takes into account the path that you are using. So if I move these here like that, that sort of creates a path. We're not really seeing it right now, but if I press play, then it does that and the way that I'm saying like that you can use this is that then you can move around and you can play around with these different values to see where you want your object to be going you just gotta make sure that the last keyframe is the one that you can edit for some reason for the first keyframe if you try to move it it disappears this could be a bug or this could be just an inconsistency because of the size being zero here but that is so far what I've been able to find out. And one thing that we could also try is if you try to go here to the layout and try to move it, it's going to produce an error, which means that it's indefinite or like it doesn't actually find it. And the reason for that is that that is using these different values to be able to do that, to find out. But yeah, so that is how you would be able to do so uh, for some reason there isn't really a specific way of being able to adjust the initial keyframe because if we go to frame one and we move it we will see that it goes crazy completely but if we want to work around these we can probably just like play around with the scale values to be able to fix it and make it go where we want it to go but so what i do is let's say you want to start from there and it sort of like always goes back to the center 
So what you can do is go a little bit ahead and then use this pivot point to move the beginning, like the center of the path. And then we go back to the end and then we can maybe adjust these to be right here in the middle, let's say. And that way we can have our title coming from the top. And we can also add a mask maybe here. And that way our title is just going to show up sort of like falling from the sky and then using a soft edge. And then we invert this mask. And then we will see how it sort of comes like that. But yeah, so that is basically what I was trying to do when I figured it out. But the reason for anim curves is that if you you can also use this as a transition or like a duration, which means that it lasts as long as your timeline here lasts, or it could be custom where you can create your actual keyframes. I'm not gonna go into details of every little thing here. And the cool thing with the curves is that here you can choose different styles that if you go to the spline tool, it's basically the same as going to the spline tool and adjusting it manually. So if we see, if we click different ones here, they do change. But yeah, so that's for another video. I'm just going to go back and show you what I wanted to show you. So that is basically the basis of how you would go about using it with the position values. And one important thing to take into account is that the anim curves is always going to, by default, it's going to take into account the length of your fusion composition. So you want to make sure that your fusion composition is the right length because otherwise you would have to adjust the duration here and the different settings here. So it doesn't actually last as much as you want it or like, so it actually lasts as long as you want it. If you press mirror, this is going to be cut to half basically because it's just going to do sort of like a bounce back effect. So it just comes in and jumps out right all the way back. But yeah, I hope this video is helpful into just sort of like an introduction to the anim curves. There is still a lot that I have to explore myself, but I just found out that that, that there was not a way to use these directly with the position and keyframes. But so then I figured out sort of like this workaround that you could use to play around with it a little bit. But yeah, if you want me to make a full on more in depth video of the anim curves, then let me know down in the comments and I can try to do that. So let's go back into the real world. So that is pretty much how you would go about doing this workaround or using this workaround to animate the position values. And it might be limited to either only horizontal or vertical for now. Maybe there will be a, a little new adjustment to the actual tool in the future in, an, in a future update. But for now, that is what you would have to do and deal with. And that is what we have. But as always, we got to do the most with what we have. So without further ado, I just want to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And maybe we can reach a thousand subs before the end of the year. If you are not subscribed and you want to see more content and be ready for everything that's coming for next year, make sure to press that subscribe button right there. And that is pretty much it. So I hope to see you in the next video here in Suave. Bye.